Guys, food dudes, welcome to my kitchen, Fun Guys Kitchen. Um, we're about ready to do something completely different. Well, I guess it's not completely different, but it's new to me. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of this quick pot. Um, what we are going to do today is we're going to take a um, a boneless rump roast, beef rump roast, and we're going to marinate it in a honey teriyaki. Now, the honey teriyaki is from uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. First time I've used this product, but I've always wanted to try it. So you could do this the night before, but all you really need is 30 minutes before you start cooking. And since this cooks so fast, I, I'm gonna do this this way today. So what you do is you get a one gallon Ziploc bag, you shake your bottle of teriyaki sauce, break the seal, so if it's open already, you don't have to break the seal, and pour about a quarter of the bottle in the bag, and then add the beef. Where's the beef? Yeah, I know you've heard that one before. All right, you just slide it right in the bag here. Now this is something I learned a while ago. Um, if you leave just the corner of the bag still unsealed and then suck the air out of it, I just realized I'm off screen, but uh, suck the air out of it like this. All right, what that does, is it makes it so that there's not so much extra room in the bag and the marinade goes all around the meat and it will stay touching the meat. You can leave this out on the counter for the 30 minutes or if you're gonna do it overnight, leave it in the refrigerator. Needless to say, this roast came from Piggly Wiggly uh, in Lake Geneva, Steinberg's Piggly Wiggly. Shop the pig and uh, the Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki, honey teriyaki Keep it off to the side because you're going to use it when we put it in here. So we're going to do 30 minutes on the counter, which will also help you know warm up the roast a little bit and let it marinate. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what to do with the pot. This is going to be one of those really easy ones again. You can come home, put this in the bag, and you saw how fast this took. What did it take? Three minutes tops, right? Go and do a few things. Half an hour later, come back. You see what we do? We'll put it in here. Start your quick pot. Finish your rest of your stuff before dinner, and of course, you know, set up what you're going to have to go with the roast. Now, you can put vegetables right in this pot. The problem is, unless they're carrots, most of them are going to just disintegrate um, because pressure cookers are, are really, really awesome, but they're hard on vegetables. So, we'll come back in just a little bit, and we'll show you how to do the rest of it here. All right, fun guys, foodies, we are back. It's been half an hour. The roast has been marinating in our uh, honey teriyaki sauce. Uh, marinade so all you really need now this is how simple this is is two cups of water just pour the two cups of water right in the bottom okay and then pour another quarter of the teriyaki sauce into the pot there we go then carefully open up your Ziploc bag pour the rest of the juice in here also don't need to waste it There we go, look at that. And of course put that in the sink so you don't make too much of a mess. And then set your roast with the fat side up. I know that's unusual, but you're gonna want that this time. That's off my fingers. And then, oops, lid's over here. Put on your lid, make sure your uh, spout is in the closed position and then turn it on. I'm going to move it off the stove because I don't want it on the stove I, I do all my cooking on my island over there. You've seen me cook over there, but it's a lot easier to prep everything here That's it set it for it's called meat stew. By the way, this is an instant pot Which is an electronic pressure cooker. There's a whole bunch It's quick pot. There's all sorts, but this is the instant pot They all work almost identically some of them have other features, but it's pretty simple once you close it and you latch it you push the meat stew it's gonna take about 15 minutes to get up to temperature and then 45 minutes to cook. So about an hour to cook the roast. And this is gonna be fantastic. Really, really, really good. And of course you can make anything you want with it. I'm probably going to make a teriyaki rice or I might do a teriyaki noodle. I'm not sure. Since we're doing teriyaki meat, I think they would complement each other by sticking with the teriyaki. But I'm not gonna do a teriyaki vegetable. I'll, I'll come up with something else. I'm not sure yet. But that's not part of the show. I'm just explaining it to you. So. 
Um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna set this up and I'll come back when it's all done. Welcome back, Fun Guys Foodies. We are all done. Everything is cooked good. I'm gonna show you how this comes out. Um, you can see the coloration here. That's why the fat's on top. It'll help absorb the teriyaki, honey flavor teriyaki marinade in through the fat and more into the meat this way. Now you can just take it out. Normally, you, you can, well, I already had it out here for five minutes. Once it's done, you open it up and you let it sit for five minutes. Now it's just a matter of slicing this. I made the teriyaki noodles, and I also did something that I don't do very often. I made creamed peas. Creamed peas are really, really, really good, but they're kind of fattening, so I don't make them too often. So, and as my good friend Steve, uh, my partner on my show, What Happened to the World Today, would say, um, you put butter in peas, you, I, he can't eat it because it's a dairy product, he doesn't do dairy. So anyway, um, as soon as I'm done slicing, actually, you can watch me slice this. It's really not that hard to slice. Slice it in whatever thickness you prefer. It's very easy. See how easy that is? And you'll notice it's still a little pink in the middle once you get into the middle, which is what you want so it doesn't dry out too much. Perfect. You like that? This is how this is going to go. And when I'm all done, as usual, I'll take a picture and we'll put the picture at the end of the show here and you can see what it looks like on a plate. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, we're not going to do any big publicity thing here today, so um, hope to see you next week. Thanks for coming to my kitchen. I'm Fun Guy the Entertainer, cooking for you.